and welcome back. Here we are with Shining Force 2. As you remember from last time, we were going to talk to this guy up here. And what can I do for you? Oh, you would like to see my master. I'm studying at his house. Please follow me. Rayleigh decided to follow Kazin. Or Kazin, or Kazin, or Cruised Cracker. I don't know. Sir Howell lives just outside of this village. Alright. Howell is eccentric. He seldom comes to this village. Alright. Shh. Keep this a secret. I like the boy who is always with him. Dude, he's right next to you. I think he can hear us. Anyway, moving out and into another battle. Oh, of course. And let's see what we have here. Oozes again. And huge rats again. And a huge bat. Huge butt. Attack 15. That's quite a step up from if you check out the rat. The rat was quite dangerous and he had 12 attack. And um, this guy had 15. Defense 8, which is the same as rat. Movement 6. And this guy can fly. Meaning he won't be affected by rough terrain or anything. He will move 6, six steps in any in any terrain, really. And he has a medical herb for some reason, which I don't know why. And um, yeah, I think he can put people to sleep or poison us or something. Anyway, quite dangerous, but I think we will be able to manage. So to kick things off, Chester, go for it. Yeah, these battles in the first, it's, it's just like, in the beginning of the game, it's just like roaming about battles, you know, like random creatures coming and roaming about and you encounter them as you travel across, across the landscape. So it's not much intrigue to these battles, it's just random to get your levels up and stuff. And... Yeah, um... So as I, as I mentioned, there are... Oh, she's still level 2, let's see how long she has. Yeah, 81. So two heals should get her to level 3. And she will uh, gain levels more rapidly as rapidly as the game goes on. Um, as I men mentioned, there are a lot of games in this series. So uh, let's go for the rat. That's the most dangerous guy. Uh, and uh, these four force games, there are really, let's see, one, two, three, yeah, about four force games, five maybe. Um, because there is one, two, and one, one and two for Mega Drive, and uh, three for the Saturn, a wonderful game, and um, it, there's. Shining Force Gaiden and Final Conflict for the ga Game Gear, I think. Or just Gaiden, maybe? Or something. And uh, I think those games were remade for the Sega CD. Apart from that, there's uh, Shining in the Darkness, the oldest game in the series, I think. And uh, Shining the Holy Ark, which are dungeon crawlers. And um, then there's Shining, yeah, Shining the Holy Ark is for Saturn as well, as well as Shining Wisdom, who is like a Zelda-esque game, which is like the black sheep of the series, considered to be. Um, the, it's quite a good game, but I've not played it a lot, so, but I think it's decent. It should be decent, at least. Um, but the fans of this series are quite zealous. Uh, no, zealous is pushing it maybe. But they're hard. Often, often they are quite hardcore, and people are like asking for new 
true shining games and with true shining games they mean games like this where it's moving across the field of battle and stuff with this battle system and stuff so yeah uh, and the last real one was shining force 3 i believe for saturn which is uh, 98 or something i believe so it's quite a long long time ago uh, they made uh, games that are similar in style, but not quite there since, but, you know, like Shining Force, I don't know, e EXA, EXA, what, what you call it, not sure. Uh, anyway, gonna kill the rooms, and that bad we we don't need to worry about him, he will reach us sooner or later. Attack, defense one. Agility by two, yeah, that's okay. But agility is really it's really not the most the most important important of the trace. Um, for our main character, for Chester and stuff, you know it's uh, yeah it's attack and defense really and for Jaha as well. Uh, and Jaha is supposed to be a tank guy, so uh, defense is even more important for him to be a reliable guy to put in front to take the hits and stuff. Um, hmm. right. Now you can see we're gaining HP in quite quite a rapid rate, actually. So. He can Braille, for example, can stand more hits than he could before, and I'm not that afraid of putting him in, in front, him in front any longer. And uh, Sarah can get there. Maybe. There we go. And he chose to attack Chester. Two. Feeling quite comfortable with that, actually. And Jaha is a slow fat. As a douche. Um, let's see. Yeah, so we have a couple guys at four. Let's leave the clip for the guys at three, because when you kill a guy, you gain more experience than when you just hit it. So I'm going to soften these guys up a bit to be right for the picking. For those low level doofuses. Doofy. Huge rat. Got hit by two. Sarah is kinda weak, but she will become stronger with work. And as you can see, I can take a couple hits. It's no worse. Um, And the oh, is level 4. This one, dude, one, yeah, nothing special there. The, the normal warrior types of don't get crazy level ups because, yeah, they get weapons and stuff to make them better, better anyway. And, um, uh, well, things will get different after promotion. And promotion is something you will learn about later on, I guess. Um, it's basically just a class change at a later stage in the game, at a higher level. Um, and there are ways to tweak that class change, so... Uh, yeah, so the characters can, can gain special promotions and stuff. Well, we'll get to that part later. Right now, it's not very relevant. It, we're, we're a bit, we're way off, ways off. And time for the huge bat. That's how he looks. And Chester took a hit, but four isn't that alarming, actually. Jaha can chop. 
he will not be known for this world. Uh, but I'm going to make sure Sarah gets a bit more experience in this in this battle. So let's see, 58. Yeah, let's see. Will the bat be able to kill anyone? Uh, don't think so. I'll use the heal spell. There we go. And then I'm gonna try to kill the bat with Sarah as well. Uh, to push her one level. Chester is somewhat in danger, but not that much, and not any longer, because Jaha takes the hit, and he will be fine. You can say it, stay there. Come on, Sarah, hit it! There we go, and everyone is at four. And she learned Detox, which means I probably won't have many uses for the antidotes in the game. Um, Alright, let's visit Howell. This is Howell's house. Sir Howell, our silly friends are here. Strange, there's no answer. Has he gone somewhere? Well, why don't you wait for him inside? Who are you? Oh, Sir Howell. Oh, this doesn't look very promising. Oops, you came back early. You, what did you do to Sir Howell? Cowards. Yeah, that's very smooth, Cassie. Cassie, Cassie. Sir, you're still alive. It's no use running after them. Are you okay, sir? Why did it why did they do such a cruel thing? They were Gallum soldiers. They demanded my notes on Ground Seal. You know, we are on Ground Seal and he talks about Ground Seal. Any coincidence you think? They suddenly snatched at them up. <coughs> That's the hero's first line in the entire game. It's... Hmm. Yeah. Uh, he's not very talkative. Who is it? What did he say? He's Brailer from Ground Seal. He said that Ground Seal has opened. And a serious disaster took place. He came to see you for more information. What? The door opened. Down, sir. Why are you so excited? <laughs> Kazim, listen to me carefully. Grass Island is lost. Lost, I tell you. That tower is the sacred sea that confines the terrible devil. Two jewels <laughs> were stored to. Stop talking or you'll die. I'm almost dead anyway. <laughs> Cassie, look for the jewels to see ancient. Um, so that's what happens when you die, apparently. All right, you flicker and go away. Sir, Sir Howell, don't leave me alone. Oh no. And his face looks entirely, entirely indifferent all the time. He, I think he doesn't really care like this one line mouth, line mouth and well, yeah, you know. Sir Howell passed away. I'm going to seal the tower. It's Sir Howell's last wish. Brayla, please. His wish is related to your mission, right? Can you go with me and seal the tower? Eh, yeah, whatever. And it's the sad joining music. Cassin the mage. 
And the mage is quite useful. Now let's go to the ancient shrine. Yeah. Chromio tits. I'm going to check these chests first. Healing drop. And that is an even bigger upgrade for the, from the healing seed, you know. Heals 30 HP. Antidote. Not very useful right now. And that's about it. We can look in his bookshelves. Sacred War, blah blah blah. And uh, History of Grounds. Yeah, we... If... If... We are able to read, we should be able to like, read his books as well, and yeah, e even though he's gone, we could, we might find something useful, but yeah, anyway, don't, don't care then. Braille looked into the well, a deep and dirty well, everything is sad, yeah, everything is sad. Who are they? Gallum soldiers. Greetings, Grandseal scum. Why did you kill Sir Howell? How could you be so mean? Well, mean is kind of a childish word to describe it with, really, isn't it? Would you agree, Classic Cassie? Get a grip, damn you. Um. Answer me. Brayla, we must defeat them so we can learn the truth. Capture them alive! So, this is our first, well, not really apart from the first battle in the entire game, this is our first plot battle. And uh, we have a new character, Kazim, and he has Blaze level 1, which is quite useful. As you can see, he's level 4, the same level as the other guys in my party. So, yeah, they keep the levels even. In the first game you could get, you could be like at the end of the game and get, get a character who was like level 5 or something. And uh, that was quite annoying because that means if you want to use that character you have to grind and grind and grind and grind. Um, and that is one of the bad things with that game. Anyway, gonna do this battle next time so thanks for watching. Cheerio!